Well, ho, 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 and all that good stuff. This should be my thumbnail. Okay, it's heavy. I went shopping for you. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff here. Some of it's mine, most of it's yours. Some things are Christmas gifts, and some things are boring. I should probably organize it and really sift through it and decide, wow, are you going to want all of this stuff? <laughs> I wanted to put together, ugh. <laughs> I need some water. I wanted to put together a gift for you, so I asked over on my Instagram what you guys wanted for Christmas, and whoa, the responses were all over the place. A lot of you just enjoy the things that I typically put together for a giveaway, so of course that's what I did. Also, cash money, so there, <laughs> I'm still deciding in my head. The grand prize winner will receive $200 doll hairs. <laughs> Uh, either Venmo or if you want me to send it as a gift card or whatever, I'll send it that way. And then all of this amazing stuff. Unfortunately, there are no kitchen appliances in here. Also, the giveaway winner will be contacted by me, the wads with a check mark with my profile picture, not my profile picture with some random telegram garbage, okay? There's a lot of spam that's been going around for way too long. Why are these bots still out there? I don't know, it's above my pay grade. There are no rules <laughs> for this giveaway other than comment below whatever you want to say and you will be entered in the giveaway. You can live internationally, it's just me, so I'm willing to pay international shipping. With all my giveaways in the past, they've always been in the United States, I probably because the ratio of people who watch are mostly <laughs> in the United States. But don't let that deter you from entering. Anyone can win. Everyone's a winner here. Kind of. Other than that, I guess I can just get right into the goodies. I went out shopping for you yesterday and I thought, what do you want for Christmas? If you don't celebrate Christmas, I don't. you can just enjoy the goodies. I tried to pick things that weren't specific to the holidays or Christmas. Uh, I mean, some things, but only because they were requested. <laughs> but the very first thing I wanna share with you guys is something that was highly requested and it is the Stanley Cup. Not the hockey version, this version, because apparently it's all the rage. Apparently you guys are a bunch of basic bitch and you want this cup. And so I aim to please, I almost, I do have to share that I almost got the uh, like knockoff version for you because I was like $40 for a cup, are you crazy? But then I also stepped back and realized it is the holidays and I should be gracious. This is something that, you know, I've seen going around and I thought, oh, maybe I should get this for myself. It's not something I would ever buy for myself, but it's something I would totally buy for you. So I did that. The color I picked out, I hope you like it. That goes with just getting a gift. Sometimes you prefer something else, but it's a gift, so I hope you enjoy it. Also, I don't think I told you the cash money is $200. Oh yes, I did, $200 hairs. I told you, I'm excited about it. Normally I do 100, but I'm going big, okay? For you, I did it for you. The next thing I got you is intangible as well. I got the Stanley Cup and this off of Amazon, so it will be here later today, tomorrow, the next day. I don't know, you guys know how Amazon shipping is. It's like, oh, it'll be here at 5 a.m. And then it's like, oh, delayed. It won't be here until Friday. Honestly, Amazon shipping has spoiled us all, really. The one two-day shipping thing. Remember when it was, okay, you don't care, but I care. Remember when it was like, as seen on TV products, order now for easy payments of $99.98 plus whatever shipping and handling. And it, <laughs> it wouldn't get to our house for like three weeks and we'd be excited. The anticipation would build. Nowadays, Amazon is definitely spoiling us. Okay, the second product, now that I'm 20 minutes into this video, are e cloths. The e cloths that I use to clean around my house. Um, some of you suggested getting those. So I said, that is a great idea. So I added those to the giveaway, also ordered them off Amazon. I got the variety pack. So you'll get like the whole kit and caboodle in there. It has like window cloths, the stainless steel cloth is in there, I think, the kitchen, the counter cleaner, the polished cloths. I think there might be a bathroom one. I don't know, it has all the different ones for you to enjoy so you can clean around your house. I try to get like, think, what do people do all the time? Well, everyone cleans and everyone eats. Well, I mean, I would like to think that everyone, I, you know what, I think you'll enjoy it. I enjoy them, so here we go. Um, all right, let me go through the goodies and kind of decide what's most exciting to least exciting, and I'll show you least to most, I'm just kidding. 
It's all exciting. Jolly old St. Nicholas, lean your ear this way. What the heck? Something break? Whoever wins will get this amazing crystal. I don't know what this is from, but we might find out. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, well we have quite the loot here. And can I just tell you, I I mean, I did a really good job picking some stuff out. Normally when I go <laughs> shopping for other people, oh my gosh, I have so much happening. My toe hurts, my earring is caught in my hair, my scalp is itchy, it's hot in here. Normally when I go shopping for other people, I see things that I like and I'm like, mm, you know who would like that? Me. <laughs> but this time, I didn't get anything for me. Wow. Oh. Turning over a new leaf. Honestly, I have so much stuff. I literally asked for one thing for Christmas, world peace. All right, moving along. Our, okay, so I will share. I didn't get you any pens. I only went to TJ Maxx. I plan on going to Home Goods, but it's like life with a baby and like a million other kids. I'm spread too thin these days. But I saw this when I was at the checkout and I thought, yeah, because I normally get you guys a cool notebook. I didn't have time to sift through the notebooks, but um, I believe that this was at the checkout, making eyes with me just to add it in this giveaway. And it is a gratitude journal. Da, 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 da. I thought this was sweet. It's something I didn't even really get to peek inside. I think it had prompts in it. Oh no, that just says notes. Okay. Oh. Today I'm grateful for, mm, I'm looking forward to, mm, favorite part of the day. Literally on one page. Oh, start each day with a grateful heart. Okay, so basically every few pages it prompts you like today is a good day and then what are you supposed to write about your day? Dear diary. I don't know how journals work because I don't journal. <laughs> I just make to-do lists so if you want to use scrap paper for this that'd be great too but even just looking at it every day <clears throat> gratitude journal for an inspired life it's so good to write those things down says the girl who doesn't do it i think it was last year around christmas time eleanor was talking to one of my family members and she says a heart full of gratitude has room for nothing else and isn't she just wise beyond her years? I love that quote so much. <laughs> the quote from Eleanor Wadsworth. But isn't that true? A heart full of gratitude has room for nothing else. So I love that. I thought you'd really enjoy this gratitude journal because isn't that what it's all about? Just being thankful and grateful for the things that we have and recognizing what we have and all of the joy in that. So I thought you would enjoy that. And if you don't, I do, okay? And that's what this is all about. I don't know what to share next. There's a few exciting things. This was probably second most requested, other than like a vacuum. But if you wanna get the vacuum, you can just buy it with the money, I guess. And I don't, because the shipping, the vacuum, oh my gosh, remember the first time I did a giveaway, I had to box it in two separate boxes. The shipping costs more than a plane ticket. I was like, I should just have bought a plane ticket, brought this, person over who won or flown myself over to give you all the dang goodies. I, I don't know, it was so expensive. So I'm more mindful of that now when I'm shopping. I'm like, okay, how big is this? How much does this weigh, etc., etc. Anyway, I wanted to get you a blanket. That was another requested thing, but I was like, blankets are so dang big. I normally go in for my mom every year and then I have to ship her a box. I'm like, this is just ridiculous. You can buy five blankets for the amount of money I cost in shipping. <laughs> One. Okay, anyway, a lot of you requested a DW candle. Yes, because you guys know my infinite love for DW candles. I think they have cool scents, unique scents, and also they're always spot on. Some of them are really fun. So I saw this oh, gift set of candles and I thought, yes, 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 It's all for you. Okay, the fun scents aren't really in here, but still very good. They are like holiday, wintry scents. What have we got in here? White birch, emerald, no, what? I can't read backwards and upside down. Plus my eyesight is horrible. Cri oh, Christmas tree, oh, I definitely can't read that one. What is that? Okay. Well, that's not working out for me. Cinnamon stick, emerald balsam, candy cane, sugar and spice, peppermint bark, juniper wreath, milk and cookies. All for you. And actually, there were two of these, two boxes, and I thought, one for you, one for me. But I didn't. It's just for you. Um, it's it was pretty pricey, okay? But I think you're worth it. And I'm really excited about this. It's like a, a, a candle advent calendar, and I love it. I hope you love it, too. 
The next thing, I almost got you perfume. I added perfume to my last giveaway because I had fallen in love with Grace from Philosophy for like a year and I refused to buy it to, for myself and then I finally did, but then I also found like two, so I put it in a giveaway. So, Philosophy, oh, and come to find out, it kind of reminds me of the scent of hospital soap. So there's that, still wear it. I say that, but I don't wear it because I just had a baby and like I don't wear anything. <laughs> I feel bad putting on deodorant, but also feel bad for not putting on deodorant. Anyway, TMI, I found this whipped body cream and it's by philosophy so you know it's quality i don't even know what it says on the box when it comes to love you need not fall but rather surrender surrender to the idea that you must love yourself before you can love another you must absolutely trust yourself before you can absolutely trust another and most importantly you must accept your flaws before you can accept the flaws of another i don't know why i went full english there i felt it was necessary <laughs> falling in love i should have gone french you know, I took French in high school. Uh, pardon me for opening this and giving it a whiff because you know I already did that in store, okay? I just, there's something so mellow and beautiful about this. A lot of the philosophy scents, I almost got you some body scrub or body wash. And you know, I know scents are very individualized and some people, if you don't like this, like no pressure to keep any of this crap that you don't like. If you don't like it, give it away, donate it. And you're not hurting my feelings, okay? There's something so beautiful about this scent. What? Yes, I just unlocked a memory. I just unlocked a memory. I don't wanna to touch it because it's yours, but also this smells exactly like the body wash I got for Christmas when I was like eight years old, Ariel soap and all. It was like a kit, a bath kit with like soap and all the good stuff. This is, I've been searching for this probably my entire life. I finally found it. Holy, I might keep this for myself. Okay, <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's for you. I might have to dig and find some of this for myself. This is so good. And I really do love the message that it sends, okay? Love yourself. Hey, and on that, let me share some of the self-care items that I got you because, uh, you know, we need to take time for ourselves. Hey, speaking of self-care, literally the only type of self-care that I get these days painting my nails. As you can see, they're freshly painted, but like don't look too close because <laughs> they're horrible and my nails are chipping and falling apart. Oh, it hurts so bad. I was also gonna get you some hair skin nail vitamins because <laughs> that's something I really want and they're pricey. But the thing is with that, you have to like keep up with them. I actually just ordered some off Amazon. Maybe I'll share my Amazon haul with you in the next video or something. They're not even in yet. Anyway, the ones from Freedom Mom, I find that they're like, it's a 20, it's a, it's only a 10 day supply. And I just, I don't know why that rubs me the wrong way. Why not make it a 30 day supply? They do taste really good. All right, moving on. I got you some nail polish. I figured, you know what, take, what does it take me, five minutes to do my nails? Three if I'm in a rush. <laughs> I was gonna get you a whole kit and then I thought, I don't know what color you're gonna like. So I'm just gonna send you the color that I would buy right now. Squeaker of the house. It's very, it's not on my nails right now, don't be deceived, okay? But it's very comparable to a lot of the colors that I have in my collection. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So I thought, you know what, You might, it's like a neutral. I figured you guys like that uh, Stanley Cup crap so much, maybe you'll like this too. I don't know, okay, I'm not judging, I'm not saying a word, not a single word. Hey, speaking of self-care, how about a loofah? A loofah for you and a loofah for you someone else that you live with because there's two of them. A loofah for now, a loofah for, for later. Are there two of them or is it just really big? Jumbo mesh, it ha it's plural, bath sponges, soap. Anyway, got this for you because, <laughs> you know, when I'm shopping around, I'm like, what would I want as a gift? Just like a rent, you know, it, it, like some of the random things are some of the things that I enjoy getting the most. Like, thank you so much for, I don't know, a loofah because, uh, can I tell you, I've had my loofah for way too long like embarrassingly too long. But in my mind, I'm like saving the environment, you know, because instead of, is it like a toothbrush where you have to replace every time you're sick or? <laughs> I feel like every time I wash, I'm also washing the loofah so it's no skin off my back, even though it literally is skin off my back, which is actually kind of gross. But also pretty hard to reach my back, skin off my legs. <laughs> skin off my pits. Okay, now we're just getting out of hand. My loofah, I don't even, it's over five years old. I should probably buy a new one. 
but I don't know what, it's like something about it where I, I just like it, okay? Anyway, hope you like this one. It is purple and pink, just for you. Moving on with the self-care, some of you suggested some kind of heel lotion or foot lotion, pedicure kit or something, and one of you specifically said, because my feet are grody, nasty, crusty, is that the word you use, crusty? I don't remember, it was something along those lines. Anyway, this is the bag balm that I use on my feet, not that my feet are a shining example, because one, I live in Florida, two, I feel like I walk outside barefoot way too much since I married my husband. I used to never go anywhere barefoot. Actually, short story long, Alex left this morning to drop the kids off at school, had to stop somewhere on the way home, and then he said, well, I can't go in because I don't have shoes. I didn't even ask him if he actually went in because I wouldn't put it past him, but he leaves the shoes, he leaves the house without shoes more often than not, which is just crazy. We call that the Wadsworth way, and it's rubbing off on me. <laughs> anyway, this is limited edition bag balm. Usually it's green, and it's just like a, it kind of feels like Vaseline. You just slather it all over your heels, slap on some socks, go to bed in the morning, you're gonna be like, ooh, it's so soft. Let me show them. Actually, you need to do it a couple of times, okay? But um, this is really nice, moisturizing. This is the limited edition. It works wonders on dry skin. I don't know what the limited edition is because there's a big TJ Maxx sticker right here. So I don't know if it's like peppermint scent or, ooh, you can use it on your hands, feet, lips, cuticles, elbows, heels, shaving, pets, lives. Stock. Oh, really? Use it on your livestock, guys. You might need a bigger can than this. Anyway, this is for your crusty old heels. Hey, speaking of crusty, let's get all that dry shampoo off your scalp. I got you one of these. This is something that I've always wanted, but again, never bought myself. I Something about it just, is it gonna be like irritating on my scalp or is it gonna feel so good that I'm not gonna wanna stop? First of all, not that this is important at all, but why not share more about me? <laughs> I hate showers. I hate baths more than showers, but I, I I just hate getting into water. But once I'm in the shower, I'm like, this is so nice, I don't wanna leave. <laughs> Cause then once you get out of the shower, it's like freezing cold. I like scalding hot showers. Okay, wet and dry scalp massager for scalp exfoliation and stimulation. And uh, this is supposed to like make sure to get all that gunk out of your hair, you know? And so I just thought you might like this. Let me know if you enjoy it and then maybe I'll buy one for myself. I don't know. I also found the Spirit of Christmas Lip Balm set. Hey, ho, everybody's got chapped lips. In the winter time, I don't know. These look like really cute uh, flavors. Christmas cookie, first snow and joy. What does joy taste like, I wonder? But I will never know, so you're going to have to tell me. 100% natural beeswax, it's coconut oil, vitamin E, shea butter, all good ingredients, free of gluten, soy, GMOs, parabens, and chemicals, never tested on animals. Use it on your livestock too. Okay, hey, oh, I got this one requested a lot. Socks, so okay, first of all, these are really cool. I got you two pair, actually three because I go above and beyond for you, okay? You ask for one DW candle, I get you 20. You ask for a pair of socks and I get you three. Not only that, wait, am I supposed to put this in here? A touch of neroli to freshen your closet or drawer. <gasps> Can I take this? <laughs> I might keep these, I like them so much. I should have bought a pair for me. Seven dollars for socks? Oh, I would never, but for you, I would. Okay, the thing with these that got me is, uh, first of all, they're nice and cozy. They look comfortable, whatever. Rub the socks together to release the scent. You guys, it's supposed to smell like neroli. I don't know what neroli smells like, if I'm being honest, but if it smells like these socks, it smells nice. It is also infused with shades to be relaxing and moisturizing. They had a whole, like, uh, not aisle, end cap of the scented socks. I've never seen scented socks before. I'm thinking maybe I'll go back and get myself a pair. Anyway, you're supposed to rub it, releases the scent. It smells pretty nice, but you guys know my favorite favorite DW candle is honey and neroli, and I figured I love that. Maybe this smells like, it doesn't smell anything like the candle. It doesn't smell like honey, but it smells like someone who has their life together. And then I found these. Do these smell like anything? Soft and cozy, moisturizing lounge socks infused with shea butter. So one size fits most. I was going to get like slippers or something, 
because some of you asked for like house shoes and things of that nature, but just, or like, um, Christmas, oh, I saw uh, the cutest Christmas sweater. It had a huge flamingo on it. It was a vest, so I thought, oh, one size fits most. But um, I, I just decided, I don't know. Like, I don't know. So I got you socks instead. And, oh, they, yeah, these smell like nothing. But they're infused with shea butter and you get two pair and they do look comfy, cozy. Ooh, $35, who would pay that? That's why Costco, normally Costco has their fuzzy socks. I didn't know, at TJ Maxx they were 10 bucks, calm down. But <laughs> Costco has the fuzzy socks too, and I think they come in a two pack for a pretty reasonable price. So anyway, those look really cozy. Okay, one more self care item, I think kind of not really, a couple more, but then I'll move on to the kitchen stuff. You guys, I, I've been scrolling Instagram. Someone I, no, like in real life or not an influencer actually try because the people I follow I try to stay like grounded and not get into that world like ooh Perfection too much. So, well, actually very very little I hardly follow anyone like that because that's not real life <laughs> Anyway, so I follow a lot of like real moms most of them. I know some of them. I don't Anyway, one of them tried out the heatless curls, the satin thing, and I thought, you know what, maybe I'll give that a try. Maybe I'll like pretend my life is together. And I just wanna be that person who like does their hair, like curls their hair or something. And my, I just, I'm not like that. Have we met? <laughs> but I thought maybe in a year or so, maybe I'll try it out. So maybe we can try it out together, girls night, slumber party, sleepover, uh, because I got two of them. <laughs> one for you. It, oh, is this one kind of broke? Okay, I'll keep the broken one. But if yours comes broken, that's nothing I did. It's just poor packaging. It's the cheap one. Morning Glamour. Heatless curls. You guys know. You've seen it. And if you haven't, here it is. It's where you like put this thing over your head. You wrap your hair around it. You go to bed and then you wake up in the morning looking like that. Do we believe it? So the woman I saw do this, the curls came out looking great. And I, you know, I've seen the commercials and stuff. Ooh, it comes with a clip and a scrunchie. Worth it. One heatless hair curler one hair clip and two, oh my gosh, two scrunchies, all for the low, low price of $10. So if you're looking for one of these, look no further than like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, that kind of place. So one for me, thank you. Oh wait, which one was broken? Moving on, hold on, I'm, uh, I'm you. Uh, well, I'll see what had happened was, I guess I was shopping around, my feet hurt so bad I need a pillow. <laughs> Oh, my ankles hurt too. They call it the season of giving. Okay, so I don't know if this is for you or for me. I haven't decided yet. Mostly because like the box is beat up and, and um, yeah. Ooh, everything's wrapped nicely in here. Ooh. Okay, I actually don't know what's in here, but the name caught me and it's Tarte, Tarte Skincare High Performance Naturals, and it's like a no shower happy hour. Ooh, don't we love that? Apparently all you need to look fresh is some dry shampoo, some Tartlet lip paint, tinted moisturizer. Oh, I thought that was just like sunscreen because now I'm like, okay, well this shade isn't inclusive, you know? And then Clean Queen, I assume that's deodorant. I don't have a clue. And then bronzer or blush. I don't really know what that is. But it was 25 bucks. <laughs> it's one of the first things I picked up. And I was like, I don't shower nearly as much as I should. So maybe I'll just grab this. I thought it was really fun to see it in a kit like this. The box is like completely beaten. But I still think the products would be great. I would crack them open and see, I don't, I, this is for you. I'm not like, I don't want to ruin them. Let me see. Oh, it's just in some tissue paper. Okay. Oh, 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 wow. Are you sitter? Look at me, I'm Sandra. D All right, well, do you mind? Just real quick. That smells delightful. A nice little dry shampoo. Oh, this is sealed. Okay, but what is it for real? Vegan deodorant. All right, awesome. This is the shade of, uh, what's it called for your face? Um, tinted moisturizer. This is a lovely shade for thine lips. And then this one, ooh, I've always wanted this blush. It is insightful from Tarte. Never buy it for myself, but here we are. 
for you. I'll wrap it back up and throw it back in. Hey, and since every single last one of you made fun of me for not seeing Christmas Vacation and telling me how much you guys absolutely adore it, I got you a dang puzzle. And if you win this giveaway and you don't put this puzzle together, we are no longer friends. Just kidding. It is a National Lampoon Christmas Vacation 1,000 piece puzzle. Yes, because I want to torture you with a 1,000 piece puzzle. I don't like puzzles. I don't like word puzzles. I don't like actual puzzles. It's just not how my brain works. So 1,000 piece puzzles is my literal personal form of torture to you. I hope you put this together and I'm not kidding. Send me a picture with you and whoever helped you put it together. I still do not understand this movie. I get that it's a classic. I think it's just over my head. I mean, I could understand if I watched it and I was like, oh yeah, okay, whatever. But the fact that so many people love it to their core, I don't get it. I will die on that mountain. Hey, it's not a giveaway unless I add a treat. I couldn't find Heavenly Hunkies. They didn't have them. And usually they have a ton of them. Um, but with all the Christmas candy, I guess my ankle and feet still hurt. I found these and I thought, you know what? This is something that I would like to eat right now, thank you. Belgian milk chocolate covered mallows. They're marshmallows, you guys. Take a, take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. A reading rainbow. I can go anyway. That is a jam and a half. Anyway. This brought me back some memories. One time I was working at Walgreens. I was the beauty advisor, no big deal. And for Easter, they put their candy like 90% off. It gets crazy. And they had like, you know those eggs that come in like a fake egg container? They're not real eggs, they're chocolate covered marshmallow eggs. I bought like five of them. They were like 10 cents or five cents, I basically nothing. And I just, during my break, I ate as many as I could. I probably felt sick the rest of the day, but that was probably the first and last time I ever ate them. But I do remember they were delicious. <laughs> so you enjoy those, okay? Moving on to some kitchen items. There is another food item. I'll share that in a second. So I was unsure about this. I almost put it back. But I got you an immersion blender. It's not just a normal immersion blender. It's a Ray Dunn immersion blender. Only because that's the only thing that I could find, really. And I thought, you know what? This is useful. It's got a whisk in here. It's got a... What is that? Oh, what, whatever one, a frother, if you like to froth things. And then obviously the normal blender. Hey, it's soup season. Are you making potato soup? That's one of my favorite soups. And you need a blender like this. I mean, you could use a mash or whatever, but uh, you know, make life easy on yourself and blend. This was another highly requested item. And I did try to make it non-holiday but also holiday because that's what you guys liked they were out of the christmas trees but they did have the snowman because <laughs> winter, right so it is a dash waffle maker hey oh everybody loves us. i actually got this from target but it was on sale for 10 bucks and uh the little snowman i just it's just so much fun for your kids and it's just that little extra touch um, I have multiple of these because one at a time will not work with the amount of people that I feed. So I, I put like four out on my counter and just dip and flow, you know? So I hope you enjoy that. It also wouldn't be a giveaway if I didn't include Opus. After all, they don't call me Kimberly Whisk for nothing. This one was a KitchenAid and I tried to find one that I felt like was good quality, wasn't gonna fall apart on you. Uh, so I feel like this one fit the bill. Utility whisk, sturdy stainless steel wires, ideal for whipping, beating, or mixing dry or liquid ingredients. And it's dishwasher safe for your convenience. Uh, I wish it was more fun than this, but sometimes functionality wins. And TJ Maxx didn't have anything fun when it came to the kitchen utensil aisle, but a lot of you requested kitchen utensils. And that means we are of the same cloth, okay? And I found this and I actually wanted to get it for myself and then I, you know, didn't. So this is for you, it's Cooker's Corner. It's a utensil set and uh, some, most of the ones had a lot of spatulas. And I feel like I'm always looking for spoons. So that's what I got you. It's a ladle in here, it's a spatula. It's a big slotted spoon and then two normal size spoons in there. Oh, one slotted one is not. 
Okay, so I thought this was a five piece set of my dreams and it's professional quality. <laughs> wow. Ooh, it's stain and odor resistant. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this because I thought it was great. I actually looked for a second one for me. Hey, speaking of tongs, I bought these for me, but then I saw on my Amazon order that I ordered some from Amazon. <laughs> so I guess these are for you too. Uh, some tongs. You got some baby tongs, you got some big tongs. Chickadee China. All right, here it is. 12 inch silicone tongs with nine inch silicone tongs. You need tongs? I literally do because the ones that I bought 10, 11, 12 years ago, finally the silicone started ripping off and I, uh, Alex threw them away. And every time I need tongs, I'm like, oh, I need to buy tongs. So these are for you. Mine probably haven't even come in yet. Oh, speaking of a peeler. I think one of you were trying to just remind me that I needed to buy new peelers, but I got you some peelers, not just any peelers, because I did end up buying three of these for myself. Initially, I had these for you, uh, just one of them for you and two for me, unless you wanted to, and then I can give you two. But anyway, I got, I found these and I thought, oh, these are good ergonomic for the kids to use because our peelers, one, we don't have enough for all of our kids to enjoy. And then two, some of them are dull and it, that could be dangerous. So you don't, you know, do you know? Has that ever happened to you? You know that the most dangerous tool in the kitchen is a dull knife. That's right. Okay, moving on. The, this is the one that I got you, and it comes with a straight peeler, a serrated peeler, and a julienne peeler. All the peelers of your dreams right here. And it's gourmet. So I don't know, I thought that was like something extra, something cool, and I hope you enjoy that. Okay, and then I, uh, okay. Yes, can you believe there's more, okay? Um, I thought, you know what, earrings? That's always fun. I love a good fun earring, but I didn't want to make it Christmassy because I know not everyone enjoys, but everyone goes through winter, I think, and I just thought these were too dang cute to pass up. Look at those snowmen. Man, look at that body. Man, look at that body. I work out. Are those darling or are those darling? If you don't want them, I'll keep them. I'm about to slap them in my ears right now. I would have bought two, but they only had one. And also it didn't come with the top. Sorry about that, but don't worry, they're safe. Okay, another thing I thought, you know what, I can't do a giveaway without the Stroop waffles. <laughs> Everyone loves a good Stroop. Very sugary, very delicious. You throw it on top of your tea and that's like a nice little treat right there. It's authentic, it's Dutch. Actually, we had someone over on Thanksgiving that came from Belgium. And we said, you know what, just for you, I'll whip out the Stroops <laughs> that I got from Costco. So I whipped them out. And uh, yeah. Moving on, I got you a pair of shades. I got you some sunglasses. Do you mind if I try them on? I think it's okay. It's not like it's underwear, you know? I, well, you know what? I already put them on in the store, so <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? I was looking and I thought, I need new sunglasses because I can never find my sunglasses when I need them. And uh, which ones do I like? Oh, wow, you know? I thought these are cute. Maybe they'll be cute on you. I know everyone has a different face shape. Some people don't like big sunglasses. Some people like small ones. It's whatever. Um, if you don't like them, pat, just pass them along. Send them back to me. I don't care, I'll wear them. And also what got me is that they're from Martha Stewart. I'm sorry, is Martha Stewart making sunglasses now? Is she just dipping her toe in everything, trying to make money off of literally everything? As if she's not already a multi-billionaire. Can you save some for the rest of us? Thank you. Okay, and then I found, this is the last thing in your giveaway. Last and final. Saving the best for last. Here we go, are you ready for it? I'm just kidding, it's probably my least favorite. <laughs> But um, it is not the, what's the brand that Costco sells that everyone is like, oh, this is the best. I don't know, whatever. But it cost almost as much. So, and oh, the box is ripped because of the box cutter that they used. Whatever, it's fine. I think you'll be fine. It is a heated mug for perfectly warm drink all day long. Comes with a travel lid. It is has a temperature indicator. Uh, keep your beverage warm all the time, whether you're around the house or at the office. Multi-use hot plate. Um, okay, so it's got a lot, a USB thing. It's got a lot happening, but it's basically a mug and then the little plate. And I thought, you know what? This would even be good for hot cocoa because what happens is I'll make the hot cocoa, put it down like at nighttime, and then someone, one of my kids will be like, I need this before bed. I need that. And I'm like, oh my God, I just want to sit down and watch a movie and drink hot cocoa. 
And then by the time I actually sit down with Alex, my hot cocoa is cold, and then I fall asleep 10 minutes later. <laughs> to keep your crap warm, I thought you might enjoy this. I don't know, I hope you enjoy it. If not, use it as a white elephant gift. Man, there's like, this side of the box is cracked too. I'm sorry about the box, just, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. All right, and then do you wanna see what I just got for our family? That's everything for you. Hey, everything for you is right here. And it's actually a ton, that's a lot of stuff. I wish I could have gotten you more. I wish I could share with more people, but for now, that is the grand prize. Uh, if you want to enter, just leave a comment. It'll be great. All of that plus 200 American dollar bills. Okay, what I got for my house, I kind of showed you in the beginning, were some bath rugs. I, we put one by the refrigerator, and the one that we have just slips and slides all over the place. It's not a proper bath rug with the grippies. So I was in need of one, so I found this one. It actually came with two, and I thought this was perfect. We put it by the fridge so that if water or ice Sp falls on the ground it's like not someone is less likely to slip fall and crack their skull open if we have this so that's why we have it um I, so i needed another one i also found this you guys what is a scent that is so nostalgic from your childhood my mom used to wear a red door i actually haven't sniffed this oh i can't even open the box oh my gosh i can smell it through the box I remember one year, I, it's Red Door by Elizabeth Arden. I remember one year I was like 16, had my first job, whatever. So I got my mom for Mother's Day or Christmas or something, Red Door perfume. And I remember thinking, God, this is so expensive. <laughs> but this kit was $35. It has two lotions and then Red Door. So this will be for my mom for Christmas. If you're watching, spoiler alert, here it is. Oh wait, sorry, it's bath and shower gel. One of them is bath and shower gel, one of them is body lotion. It's fine, there it is. Red door from my childhood to you. What's something from your childhood? Also, uh, stocking stuff for peek, sneak peek, whatever. Uh, I got brushes for my kids. I don't know why, the brushes always go missing, they always break, whatever happens, so one brush for each of them. Don't we love functional items in the stocking stuffers? You guys already saw the peelers. And then for the last finale, I got some Misha BB's cream, that's the tinted moisturizer that I use every day. I find that it is my favorite tinted moisturizer. It, someone's at my front door. They can wait, it's my last thing. <laughs> okay, I do find that this is like the nicest BB cream. It's affordable, it has decent coverage for a BB cream, CC, whatever it's called. Yeah, BB cream. And uh, it wears nicely. So what more can you ask for from a tinted moisturizer? Oh, it's moisturizing? I don't know, is it? But at TJ Maxx, I get it for $9. But then also on Amazon, it's really only like 12 or 13. So I, I'm always on the hunt for it at TJ Maxx to save a few bucks. All right, that is everything. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I got you for Christmas. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, or just thank you for, thank you for being a friend. I tried to look for Golden Girls stuff, but I couldn't find anything. Home Goods normally has that stuff, so maybe I'll do another giveaway. I normally do one at the beginning of the year, so I just wanted to get something together and not have it be like, I need these specific items. I did my best with the amount of time that I had to prepare it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the items that I put together. I enjoy you, I enjoy being your friend, I enjoy your company here. So thank you so much for being here and enjoying your time with me. Thanks for spending your time with me because I know you don't have a lot of it to spare. So I will let you go on about the rest of your day. If you want to and you're new, subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh PS, I will, that, that was my niece. <laughs> I will pick the winner one week from today. So look out for a comment from me, no one else. It will say my profile picture, the wads with the check mark, and I'll say, oh my gosh, congratulations, you won, can't even believe. I will not ask you to send me any money. I won't ask you really to do anything other than contact me and I will send you the money via Venmo, Zelle, whatever cash app you use or have, unless you want a gift card, and then I'll try to get the package out to you ASAP so you can take advantage of the cash. That is it.